Can I help you? Deke, thanks for stopping by. What's going on? Remember Larson? The guy who spotted that cow in Marion Forks? The one I told you about? Yeah, I remember. Well, he went back out there to see what else he could find. He hasn't come back. We think he's been taken by a group of drifters who've been moving through the Belknap wilderness. Shit, where was he last seen? A building on the east side of town, the old Wagon Hotel. Yeah, I know the one. Thanks, Deke. I appreciate it. I'm gonna look around. Tucker, I'm at the old Wagon Hotel and I'm heading in. Do you see Larson? Is he there? I don't know, but if he is, I'm gonna find him. St. John out. Help! Oh! I'm in here! God damn it! Up. Say, John, you know, I thought I'd come into town, find a drink, hang out with my buds. As soon as I cut you loose, you get the hell out of here. Oh, you'd have got to tell me twice. I don't know where the hell you came from, but Jesus, man. Go, run. Deke, I'm really worried. Uh, Ricky, what's up? The Butler twins, Abigail and Gabby. You know them? No, but, uh, I've seen them around. What's, what's, what's going on? What's wrong? They went out fishing yesterday, and they didn't come back. Well, the lakeshore is pretty safe so long as they stay out of the marsh. That's just it. They weren't at Lost Lake. They went east, over to the Metolius River. What the hell were they thinking? Okay, all right, yeah. I'll, uh, I'll see if I can find them. Deacon, thank you so much. Hey, Ricky, what else can you tell me? Before everything went to hell, the girl's family had a fishing site that they always used to go to. I marked it on your map. Okay, I'll start there. Deacon up. Okay. Fishing pole. That's just the one. It's yeah, gotta be the right place. Gotcha. Oh, flanking me! It's 
okay. Hey, hey, hey. I'm not here to hurt you. Ricky sent me. They killed my sister. They killed Abigail. No, oh, I know, I know. I'm sorry. Uh, we just have to get you back to camp. Come on, come on, with me. No, no! No, I can make it myself. I can. Okay, go, go. Ricky, I found her alive. Deacon, thank God. Look, she wouldn't come with me, so you gotta send someone who knows her, okay? She's on her way back to camp. Okay. All right, okay. Ricky out. Hold still, goddammit! Kill him! What the hell? Kill him! Hey, booze man. How's it work? I'm having the time of my life, can't you see? <sighs> see you later. This is Radio Free Oregon. Open it up. The truth okay. shall set you free. About a month before shit went down. I wrote in my newsletter, Farewell so, uh, Freedom. Store a ago, year's we worth of food and water. Scavenging. Because I knew, no matter what was coming, we were all nine meals from anarchy. I figured, nice. Good if haul. I could get a few people prepared, the ones who'd really listen, then maybe we'd survive when it all finally collapsed down on our heads. But not as many listen as I'd hoped. All over the now, those supplies are running out, and folks are going hungry. But you're stone cold. Remember the parable of the ant and the grasshopper? Well, us ants, who prepared and stored for future calamity, didn't have the heart to starve out you grasshoppers, who danced while the sun was shining without a worry in your head for what calamities the future would bring. Now, we're all paying the price. Are we gonna starve? I don't know. Fish runs are thinning out. Game is getting scarce. Can't remember the last time I saw a buck or a doe. But I'll tell you this much. We're not turning on each other. No, sir. We'll never do that. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. Ah, goddamn truth or bullshit. Last I checked, the grasshoppers all armed themselves with the teeth, came in, killed all your fucking ants, and took everything you own. So, if you're gonna tell parables, why don't you just get them right? 